Hello guys and welcome back to another Poketorio video and today it's a special video for two reasons. One, you've got the whole team with us, so we've got Adam and James. What's up guys? How's it going? And the second reason is we've got a bit of a bit of an insight um, and a bit of a, a gift, should we say, from PCG, um, the Pocket Card Grading Company. Um, and what they've been kind enough to do is send us a couple of prototypes um, for us to have a look at and sort of show you guys what to expect. Um, with a few little noise features we were allowed to show you as well. Now, I will be honest, we've already recorded this video once. Um, it's probably a longer version than what this is going to be, but the audio didn't work. So you just sat there for 40 minutes watching all of us. Well, me not speaking, you'd have heard the rest, but um, yeah. So yeah, do apologize for that. So it's a little bit of a slimmed down version, but we're not going to miss out any of the important points. So we've got two um, GIFs from from PCG and um, what we're going to do is we're going to have a take a look at both of them take a look at the the sort of report that you get um, when you submit a card and there's another added in surprise as well so first of all if we bring down the uh, camera so this is what was in the first package there was sent nice in a little box with a little wrapping um, before I show you this there was also a letter which sort of explains everything um, to do with their grading so Grades one to five are in a black border with a bronze number, as, as can be seen here. Gold braid grades six to nine are a black border with a silver number, as you can see here. And gold is grade 10 is a gold border with a gold number, as can see here. And grade 10 plus is in packet number two. So that's what we can expect to see on the slabs. So first of all, we've got the back of the slab. now. It looks very smart from the back. You've got your holographic uh, security label. We've got the PCG logo and pocket card grading underneath. And then you have a QR code um, here, which Adam's gonna go into a little bit more detail um, very shortly. So I do really like the back <coughs> of the um, label. I think it's quite smart. You know, it's got everything on that you need it to. And I like the color scheme. Um, it's yeah. very smart. I do like that. Yeah. So if we flip it over, we have a Charmander Detective Pikachu uh, 2019 in a grade 8. So that is the silver label um, with a black border. Now, obviously, this isn't the, the reactions, instant reactions that we wanted to give. But one thing that, that I would like to say is the border, I was sort of quite looking because I didn't know if it was meant to be like a silver border because it's got that silver sort of tinge to it. I believe if you at, if you look at the letter again it looks more it, it's actually silver or like a dark grey right. sort of colour. Got ya. And it'd be nice to sort of see I mean I do like it um, but I, I was sort of looking at it like, is it meant to be black? Is it meant to be grey? Is it meant to be silver? So it'd be nice to see what it'd look like with the same colouring as the um, as the grade. As the grade, um, like you said, I think the gold or grade ten is is the gold one as well. Um, yep. So we have got a call with these guys next week. So any questions that you guys want to know or want the answer to let us know in the comment section down below we're going to be asking them some questions as well we're going to record it and we're going to get it out to you guys so you can see you know what they have to say about any questions that you have so make sure to drop it down in the comments um any questions that you do have now the slab itself i do really like you've got the little pcg logo up here in like a, a bronzy gold color you've got the i think it's called a watermark in yeah the background yeah it is um, that's another security feature because that changes every <coughs> certain set of serial numbers, I believe. And then you have the Charmander, Detective Pikachu, um, you know, Proto 8, that's where the reference number would be, I'm guessing. And then the card number from the set. So first reactions, guys, what are your, you know, what are your thoughts to, to the slab? I'm a big fan of it. Um, agree with every point you've made with how it's looked like the little logo. I think if they tweak the um, the border, like you said, make that a silver one, I think the little PCG logo at the top will stand out massively. Yeah. 
because it's, it's with it being like like a bronzy or uh, like a, a gold on the uh, on the blackboard. It's it's quite hard to to so spot tell the difference between the border yeah. and. But yeah, I think if they they follow with the silver border on the on here, I think that could um, could help it stand out a lot. Yeah. Because if you actually yeah. flip the card over and look at the border on the background uh, on the back. That is actually it's more, silver. It's more defined, yeah. Yeah. So to have that on the front, I think yeah. that'd yeah, that'd look a lot nicer. The labels are nicely centered; they're not off center at all. Um, they seem cut well. You know, Spacing's very good with the text. Yeah, there's no overhang or anything like that. Yeah. So I do like the labels. A few small tweaks, and I think you know that'd look bob on. Um, yeah. Right Gone to a winner then. Um, For a prototype, I'd say it's pretty spot on. Yeah. We've got to remember, guys, that these are prototypes. You know, these aren't the finished article by any means. So, um, but for a prototype, yeah, I agree. It's pretty, pretty good. So, Adam, what <coughs> happens if we scan the QR code on the back? So, we've just scanned the back of Ben's slab on the QR code, and uh, it brings up uh, this site, which is the PCG website, and it brings up the whole. Like, would it be there, like the little database, where it shows yeah. everything on yeah. on the card? Centering is a 9.25. That one's caught caught me off guard a bit there. That's yeah, the point two five. Very yeah, precise. I've just spotted that. But uh, anyway, before I get sidetracked again, yeah, so this is for the Charmander, uh, Detective Pikachu. It's got the four subgrades on here, which you can see the front got an eight. Back got an eight. Sides and corners let it down massively. With a five, and the centering is a nine point two five, which is um a bit of a curveball in the uh, in the works. But let's uh, have a quick zoom in. So this is the grading sheet. Um, this is the uh, the full report of when they are uh, they are grading the cards. Um, we did figure this out in the previous video that we recorded of the uh, the limits. So deck scratches limits it to a seven. Bend limits limits it to a six, and peeling limits limits to a three. Uh, and as you can see, Ben got a seven on the front. Was it an eight? That's uh, confused me a little bit there. Yeah, it got an eight overall. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm guessing they must have redecided this after. Uh, <laughs> baffled. Um, sides and corners peeling limits to three. What do you think they mean by peeling? Like. Bend like you a know, bit of a when bend. The, the front of the card comes off slightly. Um, okay. Yeah. I don't think. You know, on a hollow, you get a bit of like the, the corners can come off. Like yeah, the no, can yeah. Come up slightly. Um, I think that's what you mean by peeling. Okay. Uh, and then it mentions uh, widening in the corner. So one white corner limits to an eight, and two white corners limits to six. The Front and back are quite similar, apart from bend limits to five on the back. Um, and then you centre in, you've got your score, 50, 50 is 10, 60, 40 is 8, 70, 30 is 6, 80, 20 is 4, and 90 to 10 is 2. So with the 9.25, I'm guessing that, you know, it's not set in stone that you can get a 10, 8, 6, 4, 2 for century. I'm guessing they're just sort of like benchmarks. So if it's between... 60 40 and 50 50 that's when it's broken down then into like a, a nine or nine and a half nine point two five as they've said so you know it's not set in stone that it has to be a ten eight six four or two i think it's they're just benchmarks to to work towards or from yeah and then if you look on this right hand side it shows a we, we sort of figured this out earlier like a it looks like a photocopy but it's not a photocopy and it's They've, they've put lines where all the marks are, which we will they, we will show you something in a second where you get a more in-depth um, description of all this. You can I see like on the right this, side. Yeah, this is this is a quality touch. Um, we did mention as well in the other video, if they sent you this with your slabs, we'd like to see that. Yeah, just involve, include it in like the, the box that it comes in. I think yeah. it's almost like a certificate of authenticity, isn't it? Not... As such, yeah, yeah. You know, it's just not. It's a nice little touch. If the if they included that, that would be an added bonus, should we say? Yeah, I fully agree with that. But um, should we move on to the the next little surprise that yeah. they've uh, it looks they've got for well. us? 
yeah. on that report, it's graded by one, inspected by another. So yes. you're yeah. double checking the grades that are given. So that's good to see. Yeah. So also from scanning the QR code, it does get a, a photo of your card on here. So if you decide to have sell it, and um, it's all in this database. But so the little extra they've added into their grading system is they do an in-depth video of the card and they explain everything on the on the grading sheet they show you through a, a lens with a light where all the scratches are the whitening little things like that um so what we'll do is we'll put this on and let you guys have a quick little look into how they work okay so this is prototype number eight uh, for ben from pokatorio that is the Charmander from Detective Pikachu. Um, so the Detective Pikachu sets, unfortunately, are quite commonly riddled with print lines. You can just about see a few on the actual hologram there. And if you follow with the grading sheet, uh, which you can find on the website, which is linked in the description, you can see just where we've marked uh, each individual blemish. So all of the Detective Pikachu cards in the prototype, uh, prototype set um, are all just duplicates from our collection. Um, yeah, unfortunately, you cannot help it. It's even though it's a very small set, it's probably one of the hardest to get a perfect set of tens in. Uh, looking around the actual text area of the card, it seems to be in pretty good condition. Corners nice and rounded. A little look at the back, there are some very fine scratches on the top left side of the card. On there, another nice rounded corner. Slight curving just from the way that they're pressed out. Bottom right corner does have a small white dimp, and same for the bottom left. Appear to be slightly peeling. On the right hand side you can see the card is a little bit frayed whereas the left is nice and clear. And that's where you can see the card slightly lifting away. Uh, again that is I would say unfortunately pretty standard for most most modern cards at the moment and it's only under extreme magnification that it's really exacerbated like that. As you see, when you look from a distance, it, they look fine. Uh, that was what we thought was a scratch, but it was a strand of wire from the playmat. Okay, and there is a slight print line on the left-hand side of the blue border. And, uh, just don't be alarmed about the lack of gloves. It's only because we're operating the touchscreen uh, camera. And these are from our own collection, so we don't mind handling them. We obviously will use gloves for submissions. Uh, there's a very small dink on the black ring of the Pokeball. See, just about there. But as for the rest of the back, it does seem to be in pretty good condition. Just focusing on the front again, uh, the right hand side, after a second inspection under an eyeglass, was quite, uh, I would say, it was a little bit frayed, so under certain light you could see a lot of the foil underneath the card bleeding through uh, to the actual face, and just by holding a light at a very specific angle you can just about see the speckles glistening on the edge and that was occurring from the top to the bottom and again when we looked under the microscope we did find a very long print line on the yellow border uh, this one did take a little bit longer to show up on camera just because it's so fine that it had to be the right light at the right angle 
bear with me while we try and find it. I just saw a flicker of it there. Okay, so now if I move the light along the side, you can just see it reflecting the print line. Okay. So if you want to follow along with any of the other prototypes, uh, please do, and don't forget to grab the grading sheets from the website as well, so you can follow along. So, what did you guys think to the uh, the video report? Yeah, I, um, was... I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I thought it was very, very informative. Um, went very, very much so in depth of every single blemish they added to the piece of paper um, that is on the uh, the website um and i feel like if they did that for sort of every submission i know he said they would they were only doing it um because the the touch screen uh camera so i don't think they probably would be doing it if they were submitting other people's cards or like grading other people's cards but if they found a way they could then i feel like that would be um a real game changer for them if they added that in for everyone yeah, massively. Yeah. Um, I think there was a couple of things there that, you know, you've got the report, which I think was, was spot on if you could include that. Again, you've got the video. Um, now, we will give them a bit of credit here because as a Pokemon community, we're sort of becoming our own downfall with these grading companies. I know I said it in a, a video a couple of videos ago. Um, you know, we're giving a lot of the companies a lot of stick. You know, us included, we have, you know, had some criticisms for them which are fair, um, but, you know, now these are coming out and saying, right, this is how we grade your card. We're showing you what we do. We're showing you how we do it. Um, you know, so I don't know what their pricing point's going to be. I think it's about £10 mm. for, for the basic one. Um, and I did see a, a video a submission, but if they could do, like, I don't know, 15 or even up to 20 quid, for, for all three elements of it. So you've got your card graded, the report, and the video evidence, if you want to call it. I don't know what you'd call it, a video grade. Um, your yeah, report, I don't know. Yeah, so I'd, I'd pay £20 for that, you know, especially on the higher-end yeah. cards. Yeah. Um, you know, you see, you're seeing companies charge £20 for a basic grade. Um, so <clears> if you could do that for 20 quid, everything in. I don't know how that would work time restraint-wise. Um you know and all that sort of stuff but again it's something that we'll ask them um next week or in a couple of videos for you guys um one of the things i did take from the uh the video which i didn't realize the first time around was by the sounds of it they use a uh two different magnifying uh, two like different lenses when they the grade so they obviously use the first one you saw and then they use the the eye magnifying as well which i yeah. think yeah it's a quite a um, a cool idea we can get a proper good inspection in there definitely so 100%, I'm a fan of that big fan of that so if there is a way to keep them within the grading process or submission process however you want to call it yeah um i think that is massive and a proper game changer in a world where you know you need to try and stand out to win people over and and sort of prove your worth i think they've nailed it on there alone um next one we will look at what was in package number two and again, I'd like to have been a surprise for us because our reaction was, you know, was really amazed by this. So if I drop it down. So in package number two, we had, um, it's a gold background. So I'm guessing it was the 10 plus from what the letter said. So you got the nice gold background. I think that does look really good. Um, Very good. On the back here. Again, you got the same logo. Everything's sort of the same. Um, but then we flip it over and I don't know if you can, I know it's picking it up yeah, there. I can. I'll give you a couple of seconds to realize what's going on, but we've got a nice. I'm still as amazed as I was from the first time. I think this is a brilliant touch. You know, the shattered hollow effect. Um, now I will say there is a couple of issues with the slab um, on this one, but I think that's because there's two sort of guessing energy cards crammed in yeah. here um, to sort of you know just display the, the logo so any sort of 
you see a crack here and stuff like that anything like that i'm guessing is just because of of how they've had to do it um so we're not going to knock them down the quality on the first slab was very good a few issues but you know as we said it's a prototype so you know you can't knock them for anything but how nice is that shattered hollow? absolutely beautiful it's mint that all of it it's a really nice effect and that's what you want your cards to come back in isn't it you know imagine like a shattered hollow charizard or pikachu there with that as a as a label it'd look really really nice i think yeah. it'd be a cool idea it might, it might not be the easiest to do but depending on what the hollow looks like on the card if they could get that sort of matched yeah oh that would be pretty damn good actually you know like if someone sent in one of like the base at hollows and it had got like a little swirl yeah in the in the hollow if they could get some sort of i know that's thinking quite <laughs> like, a difficult challenge but i think it could if, if i didn't think anyone would be able to get that on a on a label so by yeah. it looks of it any anything's possible but going back to what we were saying about the borders on the first one if we put them side by side <clears throat> you can tell the border um on this one certainly pops a lot more yeah definitely stands yeah. out i mean i know it's a different color but if you could have that border matching that i think that'd look really smart yeah um and then the same with the bronze as well i'd say yeah um you know. maybe possibly sort of changing the silver a little bit because it's like it's like a, a like a, a darker silver so if you know go, maybe go to like a nice sort of um aluminium bit... type silver where yeah so it's banging in your face pops yeah. out so much more yeah i was trying to think of if you used to look at like a, a metal energy sort of yeah, like yeah. A, exactly a lighter silver um so yes and perhaps that would help with the border as well um but i really love this i think it's great yeah. best you know, slab i've seen yeah um best effect on the slab anyway um yeah, yeah. i think alongside this um again the pcg stitch stands out a lot more as well yeah can you tell i know it's different stuff. yeah really it really does stand out more there you yeah go. um so perhaps a few changes to be made on on like a, a silver label but the 10 bob on you know really nice um yeah. that alongside with the, the the video grading the the sort of checklist um that set out what you got and where um, and that gives everyone an idea as well as the grading scale you know what they're looking for and what to expect if you didn't see our video within the first time round, go and check that out i'll pop it here um because they went into a lot of stuff on on how they're going to grade as well um but yeah i think that really nice slabs really really nice slabs um i'll certainly be sending a few off to be graded um, as we always Definitely. do yep oh yeah um, in hopes to get one of these um but yeah like i said we will be getting a video out with these guys next week by the time you're seeing this um we're having a conversation with them so as again any questions that you guys have any reactions put it in the comments we'll ask them on the video um and if we can't get an answer there i'm sure they'll answer it themselves in the last video we did they was answering some of the comments themselves so if you don't get a response from us or the video certainly um i think it was george that was answering all questions in there so yeah make sure if you're not already subscribed to the channel so you don't miss that one if you are interested in pcg um We've done a lot on UK grading companies and we will continue to do so um, until we can find one, you know, that, that ticks all the boxes for everyone. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video and found it very informative. And we shall see you in the next video in a couple of days' time. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And we shall see you next time. Goodbye. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. See you later.